these next problems require us to factor out a common factor, and there's going to be some more factoring we're going to do afterwards. So for this, if we look at the common factor, common factor would be something that both of these would be divisible by. So both of them are divisible by 5, and also both are divisible by x. So that means that our common denominator here is going to be 5x. So what's left over is we're going to have to take each of these individually, and we're going to divide them by 5x to get the part that's inside the parentheses. 5x to the fourth divided by 5, the 5s would cancel. I have four x's here. I'm taking out one, which means that there's going to be x cubed left over. 135 divided by 5 would be a 27, and the x's would cancel. And so that would be, after we take out the common factor, this is what we're left with, x cubed minus 27. Now, what we notice inside there is this is going to be a difference of cubes. The difference of cubes formula, if you have a cubed minus b cubed, it's going to factor into this, a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. That's what the difference of cubes factors into. So we're going to apply that now. Now, in this case, the 27 can be written as 3 cubed. So because of that, because we can do that, we can write it as x quantity cubed, and then we have minus 3 quantity cubed. So now I know what my a and the b are going to be. a is x, and b is going to be 3. We're still going to carry down the 5x. We have a minus b, x minus 3. Then we have a squared, so it's x squared, plus ab, so it's going to be plus x times 3, and then plus... 3 squared. If we simplify that, we get 5x times x minus 3, and we have x squared plus 3x plus 9, and so that would be factored completely. So we had to take out a common factor and then factor the remaining thing that's left over. Now let's do the same thing for the next one. The next one is another one where we want to take out a common factor. So if we take a look at that, you've got the 7 is common in both of those, but we also have x squared. You can only take out the smallest power of x that you have from that. So 7x squared is what we're going to have here. That's our common factor. Now we're going to divide each of these by 7x squared. 7x to the fifth divided by 7x squared, 7s will cancel. I have five X's minus two of them. That leaves me X cubed left over. Then I have a plus. 56 divided by seven would be eight. And then X squared and X squared would cancel out. So now we have X cubed plus eight. We have a sum of cubes this time. The sum of cubes uh, factors into this here. Okay, so we have a plus b, and we have a squared minus ab plus. So uh, that is what we're going to do here. The x cubed plus 8, we can write that as x quantity cubed. And then the 8 can be written as a 2 cubed. So now my a is x, and the b is going to be 2. Writing this out, I have 7x squared, and that's going to be a plus b, so x plus 2. And then I have the rest of it here, x squared. I have a minus ab, so minus x times 2, and then plus 2 squared, which means that I have 7x squared, and I have x plus 2, x squared minus 2x plus 4. And now that would be considered fully factored now because we took out the common factor and we were left with a sum of cubes, so we're able to use the formula, sum of cubes formula to factor that completely.